Hello, in this video I'm going to create a very simple navigation menu using ChatGPT. So here I already asked all the questions that uh, I needed to make things a little bit faster and I will just uh, go on and I will take a look at each question and code it generated for us. So before we start, I have an empty folder opened in my Visual Studio code. And let me just create a couple of files. Let's create a basic uh, HTML document. Let's add CSS and let's create a CSS file. Okay, this is enough for now. And let me just open this index.html file with live server and as you can see this is empty. We will need a sample logo and we can get a dummy logo from this website and I will just uh, download this one and it's here in my folder. We can close this panel and let's go back to ChatGPT. Okay so first I asked ChatGPT to write a code for an HTML header that contains a logo on the left and the navigation menu on the right with some navigation items. And uh, I told it what the background color should be for the header and that the text color of the navigation items should be white. And it generated this code for me, which is uh, okay, but I don't want to use inline CSS, so I asked ChatGPT to use external CSS instead. And it created this code for me with some extra CSS. Okay, so here, let me just copy the header part and let's paste it here. Okay, so it's here and let me just copy the CSS code. You can also click here to copy the whole code. And let's go back to style.css and just paste this code here. And let's take a look at what we have. Okay, so, so we need to adjust the uh, logo. Okay, so we need this one. And now we have a nice logo here. It didn't, it didn't really catch the uh, color of the menu items, maybe because I, I didn't phrase my instructions well. So let's, uh, let's go back and we'll fix that later. But, but the next instruction I give ChatGPT is to wrap the content inside the header. So this, this content, the logo and the navigation in a container that has a max width of 1200 pixel. Okay, so basically what we need to do is we just need to copy this uh, div and uh, we need to edit here. And uh, I just need to add the closing div here and just indent it a little. Okay, so we need to grab the updated CSS code. So let's copy everything and just replace everything here with this. And okay, so now we have the logo and the navigation menu. They are, the logo is aligned to the left and the navigation is aligned to the right and the entire content is center aligned. And what I like about ChatGPT is that it also gives you explanation for the code it generates. So it says that this will create a header with a container that has a maximum width of 1200 pixel and is centered on the page. The logo and the navigation menu will be on the left and right respectively and will be horizontally aligned in the center of the container. And this is exactly what it did. Okay, next uh, I asked ChatGPT to add a 30 pixel top and bottom padding to the header. 
and make the navigation links white and add 10 pixel space between them. Okay, so for this, the HTML structure didn't need to be modified. Let's just copy the CSS code. And paste everything here. Okay, so now it looks much better and the navigation links are white. So next, I wanted to change the font family and um, I instructed ChatGPT to use Google Fonts and it did just that. So here we just need to grab this uh, reference to the Google Fonts. Let's add it to the HTML file and we also need to grab this and add it to the top of the page and now we have a different font family. Okay, so next I wanted to remove the underline of the navigation links and um, increase the space between the navigation items. Okay, so it looks uh, much better. Next, I wanted to add a hover color to the navigation links and uh, to add some, uh, some transition. Again, we didn't really need to do anything here in the, in the HTML file. We just need to, well, basically we just need this part. And now we have a nice hover color. Maybe we can increase this a little bit. So it's more visible. Yeah, it's slower a little bit. It's much better. Okay, so we have this uh, white space around here. It's because I didn't uh, do any CSS reset, but basically we could just add margin zero, padding zero here, and now it's uh, removed. But Basically, that is it. This is a very, very basic uh, navigation menu. And we created the whole thing with ChatGPT. We could make this more complicated, add uh, drop down menus, make it responsive. But uh, basically, I just wanted to see how ChatGPT does this. I guess I wouldn't really depend on ChatGPT entirely. If I wanted to create a, a navigation menu or, or an entire HTML document, but it can definitely uh, speed up the coding process. And uh, another thing I noticed is that you have to be very specific with, uh, with ChatGPT. So what I would recommend is to break down your tasks into smaller blocks and uh, give ChatGPT very short, specific instructions what to do. In my experience, uh, this is when, when it gives you back the, the best quality code. If you introduce even a little bit of weakness in your instructions, then it will definitely uh, mess up and it will not give you what you want. So this is my two cents and go ahead and just uh, experiment with this tool. This is really, really great. And uh, I'm sure this can save you a lot of time when you are designing your, your HTML template or, or, or if you do any kind of coding, it could definitely uh, help you out and save you a lot of time.